Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new to this channel, thank you for tuning in. If you would, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And today I am going to, um, by request, I'm gonna talk about a little bit about the one, finding the one. Um, I wrote about that in my blog um, this morning because I was, it was on my mind. Um, it started out with the morning I went in to look in on the big babies and I, of course, picked Zora up. And when I was picking her up, I realized that um, there was like this, I don't know how to explain it. Like it's kind of, um, one of the things that I, it makes me a little nervous talking about it, you know, on camera, but, um, my chest felt a little heavy and, um, but when I picked her up, it was like, it felt the weight of her felt like I was picking up a real baby. So it kind of like began to, I could feel myself calming a little bit, if that makes sense. And it was very interesting to me because I just felt inclined to lay her across my chest and just hold her for a minute. And so in that, I began to rock her a little bit and then I looked in the mirror that's on the dresser and she looked so real in my arms. So of course I had to take her and walk through the house, go into my room, look in the mirror in my room and see how realistic she looking at. So it was about that part too, but I just started thinking about how some of these babies like make you feel a certain way and I decided you know what I'm gonna talk about this in the blog so I thought I better before I ate breakfast or anything I was like let me just write this out while I'm you know in the moment because you know when you go back and try to write something it is not the same in as it is if you're writing in real time so anyway my main thing is like, I see so many people, include myself, where we buy like all these dolls or we make all these babies and we keep them. And we're constantly looking for that one, that special one, that forever baby. You know, you sell that one, no, that ain't it. No, no, I want that one. Okay, I love this one, but not today, not no more. You know, and then it's always that one or two, maybe more, but mostly it's like one or two that really, really sticks. And you just you can't let it go and you know i i hate to tell the newbies that you know when you're in it it feels so good to see these how realistic these artists get these babies and you're just like oh my gosh you're so excited because you're fascinated with the art and the realism and you can't believe that they're just dolls that you know the, all the work i'm gonna get her changed too all the work that goes into them and they just, and you just, you like mind blown over that. But, oh my gosh, what did I do with your diaper? Oh, it's right here. So you're just mind blown over that part alone. And so you just keep seeing other sculpts that look like this. And you just keep thinking, oh, I'm going to buy this one. Maybe if I get this one, I get that one. Let me get this one. And as you, um, you keep going, you're really, it's not like, like people say you're trying to, you're chasing the next best thing. I don't know if that's really the case. I think people are trying to match their high. It's like, you know how they say when you get, you know, you start doing one type of drug and not that these are drugs, but, and definitely if kids are watching, say no to drugs, but you're always wanting to get higher than the first time. So you keep going higher and higher and that's how people end up being on worse stuff and can't get, you know, over it. Oh, I didn't bring you a hat. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. I think I, I have one over there. Perfect. I'm gonna go grab it. Um, and my battery about to go dead. Dang it. But yeah, so I think you're trying to find that feeling. You're trying to find that good feeling. That's what it really boils down to. I don't think that it's about, um, I don't really think it's about you 
trying to find the next best thing all the time for some of us. I think you just want to be, you just want that baby that really, really, really pulls at your heart's string. Like you see some collectors, they have one baby and it's like, they're so in love with that baby. And it's like, you want that feeling. Like you, you want to experience that. Um, but I hate to tell you that you'll go through a million babies, but it'll only be one or two that you'll actually have that, that true, true feeling that just never goes away. Like every time you look at them, it's like when they first came home and, um, sometime it comes sooner than later. Sometime it, it comes way in the end. Um, I've had a few that I probably should have kept because I thought I would get an even better feeling if I had this and a doll or that and a doll. And I think I let go of some that I really, really was connected to. Um, one, for instance, was uh, the April by Claire Teller Jade. I literally cried for a week and I know it was just a doll, but I cried for, and I say a week, but every time I would bring it up, I would get so emotional. It was like, someone <laughs> someone had passed away or something it was it was ridiculous um so yeah i i just every time it just it just got um it was just it was just hard for me to talk about but i did eventually this little girl i'm like stripping her all the way down and then look at there so little feet seeds I took a lot of pictures of her, so I'll be posting that to Instagram. Um, her little, these little diapers are a little too narrow. Um, so, but she gonna have to wear one, so I'm gonna take her completely off. But anyway, but yeah, so, but yeah, you just keep looking and you keep looking. And I think sometimes, too, people are looking for perfection. You're like, oh, I need this, I need that in it. And... You thinking the next baby's gonna be better, but none of these dolls are, are perfect and none of them are exempt from flaws. All of them have some type of you we might it might not necessarily be a, a flaw flaw because it's art and it's handmade art, so um you know you might see a brush stroke or um something on the baby. And it's 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 just because it's it's handmade and it's art and it's in and it's not gonna be perfect but some some people do look for perfection perfection but it's just weird um how there's been plenty of times where the most popular baby on my channel is not the baby that I am the most drawn to um which is it's interesting because um, I know some people go off of the baby that gets the most likes or the baby that's, that's the most popular. Me, it's it's definitely a personal thing for me. It's definitely, you know, when the camera shut off, it's it's about it's about me and how I feel. Um, how I feel about the baby, but it's it. I think because people always say they're just dolls and, you know, people, you know, family and close friends, you know, they, they make fun. Strangers, they make fun. They say, you know, why y'all acting like that about dolls or this or that? So, of course, when you get that feeling, well, for me, when I, I get that feeling about a particular doll where I'm so attached to it and, you know, it's that one that you... You know, you know that the house, the temperature is dropping and you remember that they got on shorts or something and you go in the room just so you can put a blanket on them or <laughs> change their clothes. It's that one. The one that you just really, really feel some type of way when someone, you know, uh, come to your house and, and make a remark and say, oh, that baby's ugly or oh, I don't like that one or something like that. It's like, girl, what? <laughs> like, you, you feel some type of way about it. Those ones are the, the, spe the special ones, like, for real, for real. 
um now you gotta get on your <laughs> you gotta get on your pants um but yeah it's it's crazy i i think too sometime in the beginning we don't know exactly what it is that we want and what we like and sometime we think we are we like something like for instance let me give you an example for me i'll did i idealistically is that a word i typically collect light skin babies um and um sleepers newborn i like them to have a calm look to them very relaxed baby that's normally the babies that i like the most i do notice that i don't interact with them as much as i do the awake babies though um and it's always been like that <laughs> big mama i'm trying to get out of these pants um and it's always been like that but these are not big girl pajamas are they see auntie patricia bought these pajamas a long time ago for i think paris or no lizzie um but yeah i typically that's what i typically like i usually up to my actual skin tone i will go for that and then after that you know i will collect other babies but those are the babies that i'm normally drawn to at least that's how i feel but here comes this little one or not so little and she's awake she's not light skin and she's definitely not tiny and i'm like so drawn to her um when i was painting her i don't know i was kind of in between i thought at one point oh i might be to mess this one up i'm like well oh well it don't matter i'm i'm gonna keep going and i kept going and then it was like oh i'm really liking her i mean i actually believe it or not i actually um kind of like pieced her together a little bit just to see what she was gonna look like once she got like almost finished before i actually mad at her something i don't normally do as much and i was like really really in love with her so um i don't know it's it's uh it's weird because i don't know why i'm so drawn to her she doesn't in my opinion now when my son came over he said that she looked like um my little cousin nevea which is um she used to call she used to call me auntie because i'm so much older than her i mean i'm older than her mom way older than her mom but she um he said that she looks like her and when he said it i said oh yeah i think she does look like her a little bit but she's light skinned but she does she her face facial features do remind remind me of her now that he says it but really she doesn't really look t like typically like my family like i don't know so i don't know what it is normally i'm drawn to familiarity and you know i'm trying to figure it out i'm like what is it um that's so special about her but i don't know but i i know that i'm eager to get her rooted and um even when she's not on camera she's i dress her um you know and um i i pick her up since she's been made i pick her up so i don't know like how do you know that that's the one like i'm still not sure because you guys know i always sell my babies you know after a couple months i'd be all excited about them after a couple months it's like okay this baby okay fine i'm gonna put this one up for sale or i want something else and well all of a sudden my favorite is okay to be sold so i'm always wondering like when am i gonna find the one um paris Mia Moore um is dawn by danielle's weirs you never hear of danielle's weirs nothing or the dawn sculpt um when i bought her that kit when i fell in love with that kit she wasn't popular back then either but she was the baby that i fell for and i think it was more so the painting well i liked her legs and just uh, yeah i just i like the sculpt i like the paint and i loved her painting 
and she's been here for eight almost nine years um so many babies have came and went babies that's been you know had flawless rooting her rooting isn't great um pears uh have plucky hair it was before um her artist started really really rooting really nice um because she roots you know way nicer now but she has really plucky hair it's not that noticeable and that big of a deal um but she's not like i've seen babies that was painted like i said nicer but she's painted nice but it's it's just something about her um and so she's she's always been here um i don't lily grace every time i look at lily grace i love lily grace and i don't ever think of selling lily grace so i think lily grace will stay but even though i still get an emotional charge for her and stuff like that it's not like she's the one she is a baby that I, I like to pick up from time to time or just look at um when i walk in the room it's just she's just cute and i'll will if i let me tell you something sometimes i'll do nothing but move their arm a different way or their leg a different way i will touch them like you know barely but i want to be able to you know interact with my babies um some babies i don't i don't touch they lay there like london she's really pretty i like looking at her i don't pick her up as much um and when you have a whole lot of babies you don't i would be lying if i said oh every day i'll log 16 of them no i don't um but then there's the babies that like i said you gotta walk in the room you some point during the day you need to go go look at them or something and so it's a different feel and i don't know who is going to be the ones that actually like stay when everybody else gets sold um piper is another one that i absolutely love i don't think about selling her and i've been told she's funny looking i've been told a lot of other little things and it's you know because she's so tiny and stuff like that but i think she's like the most cutest thing and the most realistic baby and it's i don't know and i love the way that her painting turned out and i don't want to sound arrogant but her painting is absolutely beautiful and i just i love it lily grace painting as well some of the babies i don't necessarily be able to get back to that same painting um i think too i like this one um so phoenix they got the same limbs and everything so phoenix feet is really nicely done and all that and he's he's nicely painted and i love phoenix um but i didn't do like a lot of modeling on phoenix um i don't know why but i didn't but with her i did do quite a bit more modeling on her so she's very modeled like in her legs and stuff like that what i call modeling um and for the aa babies which is a little bit different than what you would do on a caucasian babies i think um it's not that circle type modeling but anyway it just i just it make it look like you know regular skin and so um i think i'm drawn to that with her too but her face is something about her and then her face and then her weight and i'm always like sometimes i have to reweight them a second time and all this stuff and i was thinking about taking weight out of her like it's or her back because i have her like stuff kind of full so that her head can have some support so she can sit up unassisted um and so but she still as you can see her head will still wobble but i did you know weight her so that she can sit up by herself so i don't know it's the weight it's just a, a lot of stuff it's like i absolutely love joey but I feel I don't feel any you know I feel an emotional charge when I pick him up because he looks so realistic like the boy look like he's breathing um but he has no weight to him and stuff so that kind of keeps me from bonding with him like to a point where it's like oh my god this is a real child type thing I'm bonded to him where I love him I don't see him leaving me but it's not the same as when I pick up Zora or uh phoenix or even mimi mimi has weight to her so i know it's something to do with the weight um but it's absolutely the sculpt too i think i i it's something about her sculpt that just resonates with me and the painting the way that her painting turned out and she's not even 
weren't perfect. Like I, you know, I was telling um one of my you know Dolly sis that um I think I could have did a better job on her like uh, toes, like not the toes, but the right on the little part of her little feet. But it's not like it's not horrible or anything. But I don't know. I just I think I could have done a little bit better on it or whatever. But I do love the painting on her bottom of her feet and the way her, you know, her nails and stuff are. But I don't know. I just, I just fell in love with her and it's just something about her. And I just, I can sit here all day and just rock her and I can talk about her all day. Um, of course, people would be like, she ain't all that. But it's never the ones that people go crazy about. Like, um, when I first posted her, you know... There are quite a bit of people that do like Zora, but Zora is not like the most popular baby that everybody just go crazy over her, her photos and stuff like that. But she's my favorite <laughs> and it's, it just happened. Um, I love Memphis too, but it's like she supersedes everybody all of a sudden. It's just weird. And I, I know she's new, so I'm just going to give it time and we'll have this conversation again. But if... If you would, in the comment section, can you tell me, like, do you honestly have one that you just can't ever see yourself parting with and that it's the one and how do you know it's the one and, 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 and why is it the one and what do you consider being the one? Because the one can be defined so differently for everybody. Maybe it's a, something that you might don't want to do in the comment section. Maybe you want to do a video. Um, maybe we should do a tag on the one how do you find the one i'm gonna do a part two on this because i think um i want to talk a little bit more about some other things as well and i'm gonna get into a little deeper a little deeper about some stuff about my collecting um and finding the one and stuff like that but i'm afraid that my battery is gonna go dead and it's gonna run out and so it's, it's really distracting me right now and the sun has went down and i want to get up and close my blinds and um so yeah let's talk about it a little bit more and um yeah so we will see you guys later and if you have not followed my blog my blog is mrrindysmithbabies.com thank you bye